Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has confirmed the third known issue for Windows 11 25H2 since the annual update started rolling out at the end of September, beginning of October. Now, the reason I say third is because the first two were carried over from 24H2 because 25H2 is built on top of 24H2. So in that case, although this is the third known issue Microsoft has confirmed for 25H2, it's also affecting 24H2. Now, what Microsoft has to say over on Microsoft Docs, over on its known issues health dashboard page, is that following the installation of updates released on or after the 29th of September, so that would be the optional bug fix C release updates that rolled out towards the end of September, beginning of October. So that would be KB5065789 and KB5066835, which was the first patch Tuesday security update for 25H2 and also rolled out for 24H2. Microsoft says that server-side applications that rely on this system file, http.sys, may experience issues with incoming connections displaying a message such as this message or a similar error. And Microsoft says the issue is caused by a variety of conditions which can be influenced by the device's internet connectivity as well as timing of recent update installation and device restarts. Now Microsoft says that the issue is caused by a variety of conditions which can be influenced by the device's internet connectivity as well as timing of recent update installation and device restarts. Microsoft carries on to say, for this reason, it is possible that it may not be observed in some environments despite having installed the update mentioned above, which is 5066835 or 5065789. But the good news is Microsoft says the issue has been resolved with a known issue rollback. And a quick recap as to what a known issue rollback is. It's an important Windows servicing improvement enabling Microsoft to quickly revert a single targeted fix to a previously released behavior if a critical regression is discovered. So basically that's a mouthful, but it's something Microsoft does from their side. You don't have to install an update. There's nothing that will actually show up on Windows Update. It's done behind the scenes using a server site fix, basically. But what I always do suggest with known issue rollbacks is restart your device and then come back and actually just check for updates. Although there is no update that's provided, just check for updates because it can take up to 48 hours. So that can hurry up and quicken up the process if you are affected by this issue. And that's how Microsoft has mitigated the issue. And the affected platforms are 25H2 of Windows 11, 24H2 of Windows 11, and Windows Server 2025. So the problem was introduced and according to Microsoft has now been mitigated and has been resolved using a known issue rollback. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.